welcome to Freddy's Allotment Journal. It is Wednesday, the teachers are on strike, so I'm down at the allotment. Um, we've got a few jobs to do. I've got some soil for a rhubarb plant. I'm going to plant, plant now. The sun is shining, it's amazing, but uh, it's a bit windy, but that's all right. Right, I'm going to get on with this rhubarb. <laughs> And for that water bottle we've got on the other plot because I'm just going to use a hose to water that plot but I'm going to use it as a water bottle for this so I'm going to do it there so I'm going to get on with that now right 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 I'm going home now but I'm going home for a very exciting reason the cucumbers have finally sprouted. I've got a heated propagator at home, which we went to the garden centre and just got. Um, it's quite cheap, thirty pounds. Not too bad for a heat, heated propagator. It's only eight volts, watts, so um, you don't use a lot of electricity. And I'm gonna go pot up the cucumbers that have finally sprouted. They're bright yellow because they've been in the dark in the boiler room. Um, but I'm gonna get them in their pots. They're a bit leggy because we've been in the dark but it should be alright so I'm going to go in the greenhouse now get some bits that I need and we will go home right it's very hot in here it's 22 degrees so the door's open this hasn't opened yet but it will do soon I've got my bucket for things I need let's grab some potting soil so I've got two scoops in here, get a bit of one. Right, let's get some scoops of potting soil. Um, I think I'll get quite a lot, because I think I need to put up other stuff as well. Right, so with the heated propagator, I'm only going to put it on, um, so like before I go to bed, so when I sit down in bed and watch TV, I'm only going to put it on then, because it might be a bit too much. Um, it's not the quickest thing, it, don't, it takes roughly 10 minutes for it to actually start to get going and start heating things up. But once it's heated it up, it should last for the rest of the time. Um, what else do I need? What else? Uh, pots. What am I gonna get? Do, 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 do. What pots to get? What pots to get? Um, sit down, turn around. What pots to get? I'm gonna get some square ones because the propagator is square. Um, they will go next to each other nicely. Is that mm, the spider? Pots. And we're going to need some labels. Right, I'll see you at home. I'm outside in the garden now at home. I'm going to pot up these cucumbers. They've already turned, see, look at them. They're bright yellow this morning. They've already turned so much more greener. Just been in my bedroom in the sunlight. And um, I've got a heated propagator, which I'll show you upstairs. But I'm just going to pot these up now and then go put them in the propagator.
them in there. These are the things that I don't really think will survive. So I've got the little stragglers. That one's just a bit too tall. So, but if they do survive, I'll just give them to someone. Then I've got my cucumbers that don't fit in and another cucumber. Then I've got my peppers that I want to germinate. And my cucumbers that I think are very well. Four plants is more than enough. So I don't think I needed nine. Um, but just time to give them a bit of a water. The watering can I got from the garden centre that we went to earlier. Here we go, all done. This is on, heating it up. I've got that open. I won't do fully just to keep it ventilating. It'll just all fog up. Um, right, I am I will see you Saturday. Hello and welcome. It's Saturday. I'm done the allotment. Two days later from Wednesday. Hope you enjoyed that Wednesday. A bit more um, video content. Um, I'm over the greenhouse, as you can see behind me. And... Uh, I'm thinking of having a little raised bed against the greenhouse. Let me just show you now. I think of having a little raised bed here. So you see I've marked it out of having my, you know. But I'm thinking of having tons of flowers there. Like I have lots of, not tall flowers because it would just kind of shade the greenhouse, wouldn't it? But lots of just like little marigolds and stuff. Also, talking about marigolds, they finally sprouted. Look at them, little ones. Look at them. So they all should be sprouting in the next couple of days. Um, yeah, so I was thinking I'm going to use these bricks as them. Um, I've got a bit of sand underneath so that don't hurt. Use them bricks to go up along the edge like that and um, bash them into ground. And then the grass blah, that's laid down there now and pick that up and put it down there so i have nice grass here maybe a little bit here because i do want a bit of grass because this is sort of dead grass and i want a bit of grass down here same over along here a bit bit be getting a bit hard to uh cut the grass so i'm thinking of having a little bit there for all the marigolds but we'll see and then having the water butt possibly just there right there Oh, anyway, let's go in the greenhouse and show you some bits. Right, they're cucumbers. They were bright yellow on Wednesday morning. They're bright green. They've been in the heated propagator. No, these ones haven't. These, these have just been a tray in my bedroom. It's quite warm in my bedroom because it's a self facing bedroom window, so that's where I keep all my plants. But I'm going to put three of them in the greenhouse in this propagator. See how they all do, because if they do all right and still continue to grow, I might bring some more down here. There we go, there's the marigolds, and we've got our potatoes chitting along. I'm going to put them in oh, that side, because you don't really want them in direct sunlight. They're just a bit away, so the onions I sowed in like December, like before I even done the videos. And um, we've got a bit of thyme rosemary rosemary and parsley back there this is soil i've just added it needs a bit of water it's a bit dry um right let's go back to the plot in the shed what i think we'll do now is go make the trellis for the peas which is a bit exciting because it's february now it's february the fourth so I'm going to get on with a bit of a trellis for the peas and maybe we can sow some tomorrow in the greenhouse because it's February. We can have some peas, so I'm going to get on with that now.
I'm going to go up to the compost bins and have a little finger around there, see what's going on. Let me just show you the arch quickly. You can see, here's the arch. It's a string, keep it all intact. I won't use this next year, I'll put it in a different spot. So I can just dig a quick trench in there, slide my gutter in, slide the peas out, and I can, um, yeah. Right, I'm going to go have a little look at the compost bin. I won't film because it's um, a bit boring. And we'll get on with a bit more jobs. I've actually removed so much stuff. And the person that just had these compost bins, they said, so I've removed all that junk that was on top, that, that can rot down. And they said that's been there for about three or four years, rotting down. And there are so many worms. Let me just, let me find some. Probably won't take long to find some. Oh, they're all gone. Oh. Right, let me find you some. Where you find any, but you see, one there. But there's tons of them. Yeah, one in there. Scan the soil. There are tons of them actually. But I'll dig a whole worm nest in there. So I'm gonna get all it. Look, a couple more here. Oh, big one there. I'm gonna get all of that and start filling up my new raised beds. It is really exciting. Later in the day, I'm gonna get a fire started. Come watch me. On the main fire of the big plot, there's this really dry stuff. So I'm gonna burn, just have a little bit of a burn up. I'm gonna get a watering can beside, for safety, in case anything does overspill and goes onto the wood chip. But I think for now, just have a little bit of a burn up. When it started, that string was old string that I've been using, so nothing new, nothing wasted. Right, I'm going to chuck the rest of that on and get it going. We go, just sitting watching it, and um, I've got a watering can on the side. See, there are little bits that go off the side, but just step in it, it won't be too bad. Right, that's that. I've got the fire going, but I just want to show you this. Look, fire's literally dripping. Um, it don't ever catch onto the wood chip because it's quite wet, the wood chip. So I'm not worried about that. But I'm thinking now, I'm just going to do the compost because it's getting dark. It's about half three, quarter to four. Um, and I'm going to do them so when I walk past I get a bit of heat so I'm going to load it up a bit go get my shovel and start doing compost from the middle bin I've had a little poke around and I've um, realised it's not really worth it today it's getting dark someone's put a bunch of potash on that which is handy um, so I'm just going to sit here by the fire warm up get a chair sit here and watch it and keep putting stuff on it I might go home because we do a family round, but we'll see. Hello, it's the next day, it's Sunday, and I just want to take a minute or two to just talk about all my subscribers, all 48 I think we're at now, it's a small channel but we're growing quickly in the past 5-6 weeks. Um, I got a very nice comment the other day from Danny from the Great Bryant Garden. Now I love his YouTube videos, they are just amazing, he makes them the best quality and he's a bit of an inspiration for me and I love his videos. So later today I've ordered a microphone, a little microphone to go here to make the sound a little bit better and it's coming later today. But anyway, now I've got the tools down the allotment today and all this wood that I've taken down the allotment I'm planning to make a little cold frame. Um, who knows if we're going to do it today or not, but I'm just planning to. I've got pipe and um, some netting to do 
um, some hoops for the carrots bed and I'm going to get on with that now and I'll show you a bit. Right, I've got my pipe cutters, I've got my pipe and I'm just going to try to make some hoops for the carrots so they don't get carrot fly. So I think I'm going to do one here. I don't want to make them. Only little things to help. Whoa, well, that is moving. Cut that. Whoa. Whoa, there we go. Right, I'm going to get on with the rest. Right, as you can see. On the hoops, on all four of them, and I'm just gonna get this green scaffolding net in, is what it is actually. What we've got on this page here, and I'm gonna put it on the beds. And um, yeah, I think it's gonna look really good. Um, I've got that all done, as you can see here, and um, I've put bricks on each four corners to weigh them down, and the next job on the agenda is building a cold frame. So I've got all sorts, all oh, just bang me knee, I've got all sorts of different lengths of wood, um, I've got the saw, and I've just kind of got to cut them um, into size and kind of make a cold frame. So I'm going to see how that goes. Right, here I've put the cold frame. Now, I don't know if you can see, but I've got a bright right pen here. It's a whiteboard pen. You can draw on the windows and it literally just wipes off. So the cold frame, oh, I don't know if this is going to be good. Can you see it? Um, let me have a little thing. Right. A piece of wood here, so can't really draw 3D, but I'm going to try. So it's going to be the bottom, going to come up, it's the cross, and how do you draw 3D? Uh, right, so basically, the bottom's going to be. It's going to be three foot. It's going to be foot and a half. <laughs> FT.5. And it's going to go across by three foot. It's going to have an angle and then the uh, window will obviously go up and down. Right, I'm going to try to build it. Right. I mean, it looks terrible. I can't get the plastic off that polycarbonate, but I've done it with that one. Um, I mean, it looks pretty bad. I mean, you've got to be honest. But it will do. It will warm up. There are air gaps. And I've got that pot there. And I made that thinking I can use it as a bit of a hinge. But I'm just going to use it as a little raised bed next to it. See what the temperature is on the inside. we got 18 degrees. Oh, I'm just going to go make a cup of tea. Right, we're here in the greenhouse. I went in the garage, uh, we have no gutters. Urgh. Which is a huge bummer. But I'm just going to sew them in the tray, it's not a big, big deal. I'm also going to sew some onions in this tray. And well, I've got my microphone coming between the next couple of hours. So the outro, or the ending of the video, it will be with the microphone so we'll see if it's a huge difference write, write down in the comments if it is a big difference or if it's totally not a big difference and it was a waste of money i think it'll be a big difference 
It had um, good reviews on Amazon. It's 25 degrees in here, it's hot. I've got the door open, the windows open. All right, I'm gonna get to work. Right, so how to plant onions is quite easy. So there's the pointy end and there's the bottom end. Now the roots come out the bottom end. You can see it's in quite a oval egg shape, isn't it? So that root you want to put into the soil like so. And you want to do that for all the trays don't ever put two in a um, in a module in the same module because they will literally um, what they do they will strangle each other they'll grow and they'll strangle each other same with beetroot you have to prick them out or they'll strangle each other right, I'm gonna get on with this oh right so it takes me to fill it back up it's a mixture, a good mix. Before I put it in, yeah. Now, this mix you might already know from my past videos. It is a mixture of vermiculite and sifted compost. That's it. Um, last year, I didn't use vermiculite. And I don't even think I sifted, sifted the compost. And so far, I haven't really seen a change. So next year, I might just go back to sifted compost. But we're gonna try it this year, because this stuff is expensive. 10 pounds for a 10 litre um, bag. But if you think about it, it's a pound a litre. So if you really think about it, it ain't too bad. But you can buy these bulk bags for twenty pounds. They they worth their money. They're like um, quarter of a ton, and they're twenty pounds. And that that last me two years, but I haven't really seen a difference. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep using vermiculite. It's done. I've got my potatoes chitting, my peas growing, my onions growing, my marigolds grown, and my cucumbers that have sprouted. Look at them. Um, we've got some frost, but I'm gonna leave them in here, see how they do. Um, apparently, it's going back down to zero, negative two again. But looking at this weather, well, I doubt it. That's um, oh, look at that. Oh, right. Go back to the shed and um, we'll do some other bits. Right, so the next job is to be filling up them chimney pots with some compost. I put some compost. Um, and like Danny at the grapevine garden, he says compost is getting more and more expensive, which is true. And they're putting less good stuff in it, so it's getting worse and it's getting more expensive. So I really need to think of a way of a compost system so I can be making my own compost. Them compost bins up that I used to soil from yesterday, that's actually a communal compost bin. So I can't be going over and taking all the compost like I did yesterday. Because everyone needs to have a little bit. So I need to make some compost bins. Don't know when, but as soon as possible. And I need to make a compost solution quickly. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fill up my chimney pots with the compost and I've got some raspberry canes um, I'm going to put into them. So let me just show you now. Right, I've got my compost here. 
It's actually dry bag, but it's the cheapest we can find in B and Q. Can you actually see me properly? If not, I will raise you up a little bit. Right, so all the things that eat the pot, the fill them up with compost. Uh, get this filled out. Put some gloves on and probably get a shovel. Hand trowel something. About an inch and a quarter, inch and a half from the top. I mean, if you've got. I'm going to plant some raspberry canes up here. And um, if you've got these chimney pots, I gave them a nice coat of paint. Side. Just spray paint, look at that. A little bit more. That's it, maybe one more. Right, so it's about an inch from the top now. And we're going to literally, like a cane, just stick the raspberry canes in and you're done. Give it a bit of the water. This compass is already a bit. Um, damp itself but I like to add a little bit more right now I've got them all filled up soil I'm going to put the raspberry paints in them now these these have been soaking in water so they did dry out and I'm literally just going to stick three of them I think in the ground and I don't think we're going to get any of the fruit this year but maybe next year we'll be lucky and get some small ones but we'll see I'm going to go put these in the ground and give, let me give you a slight demonstration. Right. So, oh, I've just filmed a whole section. <laughs> it's not, I haven't just recorded. So, as I said, well, as I said to myself, you literally just put, go get them and put them in the ground the stem will turn into roots a bit like a stem on a seedling and you've got that it will turn into a root right let's hope it's recorded itself 